Somewhere in the frozen wasteland, an expedition from Cord Industries, led by mercenary Ignacio Carapax, locates an alien scarab, Victoria Cord. The company's CEO arrives in a helicopter, asking Carapax whether they have found the alien scarab. Caparax reveals they've been cutting through for the scarab for the past two weeks, only for Victoria to insist they try harder because she can feel it. Later somewhere in Palmera City Airport, new college graduate, Jamie Reyes returns home to his father, Alberto, mother, Rocio, sister, Milagro, and Nana. Alberto tells them they shouldn't say any bad news to Jamie, making it to seem they are hiding something from him. Jamie arrives and they happily welcomed him. Alberto is glad because now they are all together. Just then Jamie asks of his uncle, Rudy, who just arrives there, cruising in his new Tacoma. They get into the car and moves out with Rudy. After catching up, Jamie finds out that his family have fallen upon hard times. While he was away, they didn't tell him because they wanted him to focus more on his studies. New developments by Cord Industries are slowly gentrifying his hometown, leading to his father losing his business, and the family are on the verge of losing their home. On top of everything, Alberto has developed heart problems. Jamie is confident that he can get a good job with his college degree and support them, but despite his credentials, no one will hire him. Milagro gets him a job with her as a cleaner at Victoria Cord's mansion. Jamie sees Victoria with Carapax and tries to say hi but she ignores him. Meanwhile, Victoria finds that her niece, Jenny Cord, has come to confront her about a defunct superfluous technology called the One Man Army Corps, Amic, that her father, former CEO of Ted Cord, had ordered scrapped before his sudden disappearance. Victoria has revived the project and is developing it to sell to world powers, using a strange new tech. Jenny demands Victoria stop the Amic project, as her father had turned Cord Industries away from weapons manufacturing, but Victoria refuses. Jamie sees her threaten a Jenny, and steps in to defend her, leading to him and Milagro getting promptly fired. While Jenny was moving out, he tries to talk to her to see if she okay. Jenny tells him she appreciates what he did and she fine and can also take care of herself, however, she tells Jamie to see her at Cord Tower, so she can arrange another job for him and his sister. He couldn't sleep that night, and moves outside to talk to his father. After a pep talk from Alberto, Jamie decides to take Jenny up on her offer. Jamie goes to Cord Tower, the whole family escorted him, making a weird scene and things uncomfortable for him, but after making it inside the tower, he is made to wait in the lobby. Elsewhere in the building, Jenny finds the source of Amic's new technology, which is the Scarab. She steals it and runs, Jamie seeing her in the lobby and trying to catch up with her. As the alarm is sounded, Jenny panics and gives Jamie the Scarab, hidden in a burger box, and orders him to guard it, but never touch or even look at it. He confusedly agrees and takes it home. His family convince him to open the box and they examine the strange statuette. Upon being picked up, the scarab suddenly comes to life and attaches itself to Jamie, painfully fusing to his back and encasing him in a set of alien armor. The scarab speaks to him and begins a check of its systems, launching him into space, sending him back to Earth, and flying him helter-skelter through the city causing damage before eventually returning him home. The family argue about what to do, Rudy insisting they not get the police involved, convinced that they work for Cord. Desperate to get the scarab removed, Jamie decides to find Jenny and get some answers. He finds Jenny fleeing armed enforcers, and helps her get away. Jenny knew about the scarab, as it had been in her father's possession long ago, but didn't know it would bond with Jamie, as it is sentient, and chooses its own host. The only chance of getting it off him might be in her father's vault, but they will need a digital key stored at Cord Industries. Rudy takes them and sets off homemade jamming device to block the cameras while Jamie and Jenny enter to steal the key, a smartwatch. Jenny explains that Victoria was Ted's older sister, but their father left the company to Ted. Victoria became bitter, and has been obsessed with progress and profit ever since. The jamming device gives out, and the group is attacked by Carapax in a prototype Amic suit. The Scarab activates Jaime's suit, and he fights a losing battle with the bodyguard. The Scarab offers to take full control of Jaime's body, and demonstrates the suit's capability of creating any weapon at will. However, Jamie stops the Scarab from killing Carapax when he got the chance, which allows him to defeat the younger man and nearly killed him, but Rudy and Jenny ram Carapax with a jamming device and evacuate the injured Jamie. On the way, 
Jamie reveals the scarab is named Kajida, learning so, after it took over his body and he temporarily merged with its consciousness. They go to Jenny's dad's old mansion, and using the key, she takes them into a secret basement lair, where Ted operated as the superhero Blue Beetle. He had the scarab, which he deduced to be some kind of alien super weapon, but it chose not to bond with him. So Ted created his own gadgets and suit from scratch. Rudy starts to hack Ted's computer, while Jamie and Jenny head upstairs. The scarab heals Jaime's wounds, and he and Jenny talk. Jenny's mother was the one that inspired her father to take up hero work and turn the company around. But after her death, he became removed and obsessed. One day he disappeared, never to return. She admires Jaime's close family relationships, and they nearly kiss, before Rudy tells them he has broken into the computer. Rudy finds out that the scarab once fused with someone else, who was analyzed to create the prototype Amok suit, but the project was shut down before it could be completed. Once the scarab chooses a host, it merges with them on a cellular level, and does its best to protect the bearer. Unfortunately, the only way to remove the scarab is to kill the host. Jamie is broken, and Rudy talks with him outside, encouraging him that maybe the scarab is a gift, instead of a curse. They see Victoria's helicopter headed towards the Reyes home, and Jamie races back. Victoria's army of enforcers storm the Reyes house, and round up the family, demanding to know where their son is, and setting fire to the house. Jamie arrives and the suit withstands their attacks, so they start targeting his family. Jamie defeats most of the soldiers, but Alberto and Milagro are pinned down by a soldier, as Victoria and Carapax prepare a special weapon. Jamie and Kajida take out the soldier, but Alberto begins suffering a heart attack, distracting Jamie long enough for Carapax to catch him in an electrified claw, that incapacitates him. Carapax abducts Jamie as his father dies before the ambulance can arrive. In the morning, Rocio, Milagro, and Rudy are rallied by Nana, to put their grief aside for the time being and save Jamie. Jenny offers to help, and takes them back to her childhood home. She brings them into Blue Beetle's bug ship, an armored airship, which they all choose their weapons, and head out to plan a rescue. Jamie is held prisoner inside an old island fortress, near Cuba, where the Amic is being developed. Victoria plans to download the Scarab's code into the Amic neural systems, and duplicate it to create thousands of super soldiers, unconcerned that the process will likely take Jamie's life. Her lead scientist argues that they could learn more from the Scarab if they keep the host alive, but Victoria orders him to start extracting the Scarab's code into carrot packs. Meanwhile, Jenny leads the Reyes family to the island, where Nana formulates a plan to storm the base using Cord's old tech. They land the ship amidst heavy fire, converting it into a walking tank-like vehicle, and blaze through the enforcer's ranks. Milagro heads into the labyrinth in tunnels with Jenny to find her brother. They duck into a side room to avoid the guards, and find that Victoria has already constructed thousands of Amic units, waiting for hosts, which are being powered up by the Scarab. In the lab, Jamie is put through excruciating pain from download, and his organs start to shut down. As he passes out, he sees a vision of Alberto, who encourages him to embrace his destiny and accept the Scarab, instead of fighting against it. Jamie says goodbye to his dad, and reaches out to Kajida while Jenny and Milagro place explosives on the generator. Jamie fully merges with the Scarab as the explosives go off, shutting down the extraction, but not before Carapax's Amic suit is fully powered and operational. Jamie escapes his restraints, but the Scarab needs time to reboot. He is helped by the scientist, who is killed by Carapax in his newly transformed suit. Jamie runs, but is cornered by soldiers. Nana suddenly arrives and eliminates the enforcers, expertly operating a machine gun, and revealing that, she used to be a revolutionary in her youth. They make it back to the ship, but Milagro and Jenny have not returned, so Jamie goes back in to find them, along with Rudy. The explosion has separated the two girls, and Jenny is captured by Victoria and her guards. Milagro is pinned down, but Jamie finds her just in time. Now completely symbiotic with the Scarab, he easily takes down the soldiers and saves his sister, but is found and engaged by Carapax. A fierce fight ensues, Jamie eventually being beaten down by the bigger, stronger warrior. Rudy emerges, and starts making fun of him. Carapax angrily sends a rocket after him, seemingly killing him. Enraged, Jamie gains the upper hand, and prepares to take revenge for his father and uncle, and kill Carapax, but is forcibly stopped by the Scarab. Now understanding compassion since merging with Jamie, it tells him what it saw upon being briefly downloaded into Ignacio's own mind. 
showing that he was conscripted as a child soldier as a young boy, how Victoria found him and took him to be her guinea pig for the Omic project, and how his mother was killed by a random and senseless bomb attack, turning him into the cold-hearted man he became. Jamie takes pity on him and spares his life. Meanwhile, Victoria attempts to escape in a helicopter with Jenny in tow, showing her that even though if she loses the island facility, she has the Scarab's code in a portable device and can start over. Jenny uses a protective foam gadget her dad left her to take out the pilots and throw herself and Victoria out of the helicopter to the ground safely. Jenny destroys the duplicated Scarab code, and Victoria orders Carapax to kill them. However, Carapax turns on her, as the others escape, reuniting with a very much alive Rudy. Carapax overloads his suit, taking Victoria, the fortress, and all of the Amic units with him as it explodes. The Reyes family grieve for Alberto, and the community rallies around them for support. Jenny takes over as CEO of Cord Industries, and promises to uphold her father's legacy. She gives Rudy a new truck, and tells them she will have her company rebuild the Reyes home. Jenny says she is heading to her father's mansion, and Jamie offers to fly her there, and they share a kiss. Deep within the Blue Beetle's lair, a garbled transmission from Ted Corb desperately tells his daughter that he is still alive. That's all for this video. Thanks for joining me on this. If you enjoyed this recap, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. What did you think of the twists and themes? Until next time, keep the lights on and stay curious.